Hi, my name is Lori and I'm an educator here at Green Acres. This is a really special time of year where it's below 32 degrees at night and above 32 degrees during the day, which means we can tap maple trees. Trees are a natural resource that provides shelter and food to animals, including people. People have been tapping maple trees since before the settlers, and we're excited to continue that tradition here today. So I've got my bucket full of tools and I'm ready. So let's head into the sugar bush and tap a maple tree. Tree sap is essential for trees. It takes all the water from the roots and brings it up to the leaves. And then it takes all the sugar made by the leaves and redistributes it throughout the tree and helps the tree keep growing. So here we are in the sugar bush and we're looking for a maple tree, a sugar maple tree. And it's hard to find during the winter because all the leaves are gone. So we have to use other characteristics like the bark to help us identify a maple tree. This tree right here is a sugar maple and I can tell by the bark because the bark is a pinkish gray color and it's got these vertical grooves in it or what we call plating. And so this tree right here is one that we can tap, but I first have to make sure it's old enough and big enough. A tree needs to be at least 40 years old for us to tap it or 30 inches in diameter. So I have my tool here that can help me measure the width of this tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and see if this tree is old enough or big enough for us to tap. All right, this tree is ready for us to start tapping. So we start tapping a tree by first looking for a big branch above or a big root below. This ensures that we're gonna have some good sap flow. So I see a huge root right here, so I'm gonna tap right above this root. I think I'm gonna tap at about this height right here. And I'm gonna use this power drill to tap the tree. When I use the drill, I wanna make sure that I've got it at a slight angle down so that the sap flows out of the hole downward. When I drill the new hole, I wanna make sure I stay away from old tap holes so that those have a chance to heal. They kind of scab over just like this one. All right, so we're ready to drill this tree. I wanna drill in about one and a half to two inches. And then I wanna clean out the hole with some clean water. I wanna get all the sawdust out of the hole. A lot of people ask if this hurts the tree. This doesn't actually hurt the tree. It's very similar to donating blood. When you donate blood, they use a clean needle and they only take a little bit. This is the same thing. I'm using a clean drill bit. I'm using a clean spile and we're only taking a little bit of the sap from this tree. All right, our next step is to tap the spile in. The spile has this longer side where the sap flows through and then it drips out the bottom here. So we're gonna go ahead and tap this into the tree gently. And now I can attach this plastic tubing here so that we can catch all of our sweet sap. I'm gonna link this tubing over to our bucket. And now we are good to collect some sap. Now that we're done tapping this tree, we just have to come out and collect the sap whenever it's flowing. We like to come out and collect every day or every other day. It just depends on the temperatures. The more drastic change in temperatures from cold to warm, the more often we're gonna have to come out and empty the buckets so that they don't overflow. So I hope you can come to Green Acres sometime and see the next step in our process where we take the sap and turn it into maple syrup. Thanks for joining us here at Green Acres and I'll see you next time.